friends, how are you? I picked a special book called Too Much TV. And I thought it was pretty important because we're not at school. We are home a lot. I just want to make sure that we're not watching too much TV and we're actually doing some more hands-on stuff like projects, going outside, exercise. All right, TV's okay once in a while, but too much TV might not be so good. So let's see what this story's about. This book is by Stan and Jan Bernstein. Here we go. Wow, look at that awesome family. It was a fine spring day in bear country. The bluebirds were singing, the trout were leaping, and except for one small cloud of dust billowing behind the school bus as it came over the hill, the air was sparkling clean. Mama Bear was inside the family's treehouse fixing brother and sister Bear's after school snack. Wow, so they're coming home from school on the school bus. Does anybody take a school bus home after school? I used to when I was a kid. School buses are super, super fun. But sometimes you have to be a little bit older. A lot of us take school bus when we go on field trips. I wonder what they're going to do after school. Brother and Sister Bear got off the school bus and came into the kitchen with, heartily, with a heartily hello. Then they did what they did every day. They took their milk and cookies into the living room and switched on the TV. There's no question about it, thought Mama. Those cubs are watching too much TV. Later, when Papa Bear came in from his shop and joined brother and sister, Mama even became even more convinced. There's absolutely no question about it. The whole Bear family is watching too much TV. Look at them. They're sitting in front of the TV. The whole family, they're not talking. They're just staring at the screen. She wasn't quite sure how it happened. Maybe it began when the old fuzzy picture black and white set broke down and they got a new, bigger color TV. Or maybe it started when Papa put the big antenna on top of the house and brought in pictures from all over Bear County. But however it had happened, one thing was for sure, the Bear family was spending more and more time watching television and less and less time with all the other things they might be doing instead. Yeah, look at them watching TV. Look, see them in the treehouse over here? They're watching that, that colorful TV with all those channels and movies, but too much. The Bear family had always had lively conversations around the dinner table. But not lately. Lately, they just sat, ar sat around and chewed. Look how happy they used to be. Now, do they look happy? No. The cubs had all kinds of fun playing outdoors. But not anymore. Look how much fun they used to have flying kites, watering the plants, going on adventures and hikes like Miss Alicia does, jumping rope. Wow, those are actually some really good ideas for adventures. But now they were too busy watching Nutty Bear and the Bear Stooges. They don't look like they're having that much fun anymore, do they? No. That evening after dinner, when brother and sister scampered in to turn on the TV, Mama stopped them and said her piece. We've been watching all together too much television around here. But Mama, said Brother, Nutty Bear is coming on and we'll miss it. And the Bear Stooges, added Sister. Well, you'll just have to miss them, said Mama firmly. <gasps> miss their TV shows? And furthermore, she added, you may as well get used to the idea because there's not going to be any television around here for a whole week. <gasps> what? A whole week? No TV for a week? said the shocked cubs. But mama! What are they going to do without TV for a whole week? Never mind the butts, said papa. Your mother is absolutely right. 
there's a lot more to life than TV, like homework, for instance, and fresh air and sunshine, and exercise. No TV for a week is an excellent idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's a sports show I want to watch. That doesn't seem fair. Just a moment, Papa, said Mama. No TV for a week means you, too. What? said Papa. You can't be serious. Wow. No TV for anybody, I wonder. But Mama was very serious. What about the news? protested Papa. I won't know what's going on in the world if I don't watch the TV news. Here, try this, said Mama. It's called the newspaper. And the weather, continued Papa. How will we know what the weather will be? Try this, said Mama. It's called putting your hand out the window to see if it's raining. <laughs> Mama's kind of funny, huh? What are we supposed to do? Just sit around and talk? Asked Brother. That'll be fine for starters, said Mama, settling comfortably into her rocker. Hmm. What is there to talk about? But it had been so long since the Bear family sat around and talked that they had sort of forgotten how. It really didn't matter because pretty soon Papa fell asleep and snored so loudly they would have had heard each other anyway. After school the next day, the cubs looked longingly at the TV, but Mama shooed them out to play. Brother's bike had a tire that needed pumping, and sister's trike needed a little oil. And while it seemed strange not to watch TV, it was fun riding bikes and trikes again. Sort of. All right, so at least they're not watching TV. They're getting outside on their bicycles. That's good. That evening, the cubs worked on their homework but it wasn't easy with that blank TV just sitting there. Then sister noticed an ad in Papa's newspaper, an ad for a TV special. Oh, Mama, she said, look, a special. No TV for a week means no TV for a week, said Mama. And besides, Mother Nature has a bigger special waiting for us. We're going to sit outside and watch the stars come out. <gasps> that sounds just Amazing. Go outside and sit and watch the stars and look how beautiful they are. I like that idea. I think I'm going to do that tonight. Watch the stars come out, complained sister. I don't know if I could stand the excitement, said brother. He was joking. He didn't doesn't think he's going to be excited at all. Ooh, look at them. Look at that. But as they sat out under the great sky, the spell came over the bears. It was all so big and beautiful. The bears stared at the sky. So far, not a single star. Look, cried sister, something flying. Bats, said Papa, out for their breakfast of insects. Ooh, if you go outside and see bats in your backyard, they are probably just waking up and trying to find some food. Breakfast, asked brother. That's right, answered Papa. Bats sleep during the day, so this is their breakfast time. I see a star, cried sister. She had found the first tiny star. Wow, so beautiful. Soon there were others, and after a while the whole sky was full of stars, and it was very special, more special than anything they'd ever seen on TV. It was a sharper picture, too, and a much, much much bigger screen. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. I wonder if our sky outside looks like that. The Bear family did all sorts of interesting things over the next few days. So interesting that they hardly thought about TV. They went on a nature walk. <gasps> so does Miss Alicia. And they watched tadpoles hatch out of eggs. They watched an orb spider spin a magnificent web. <gasps> Look. These are things you could find on your nature walk, too. They went shopping at the Bear Country Mall. Sister used some sort of her savings to buy a knitting spool and some yarn. Brother bought a cube puzzle. They did have to keep an eye on Papa, though. What was he doing? When they were at the mall, the cubs caught Papa in the TV store, sneaking a look at a game show. 
Another time he went downstairs in the middle of the night for a peek at a late, late movie. But Mama and the Cubs stopped him just in time. No TV means no TV. The next evening, it was the last day of their no TV week. The Bear family was having a lively conversation. Remember when they didn't look happy at the table? Now they do. They all agreed that the week had been a success, but Brother had a question. Mama, he asked, what is it that you don't like about TV? What do you have against it? Goodness, said Mama, I don't have anything against it. I like it. What I'm against is the TV habit, sitting in front of it day after day, like old stumps, waiting for dry rot to sit in. Well, said Brother, Tomorrow I'm going to get a whole bunch of snacks and watch TV all day. Me too, said sister. Me too, said papa. But the only thing, the only one who did watch it all day was papa. Brother got interested in his cube puzzle and finally solved it. Sister started knitting a rug on her knitting spool. Finally, even papa had enough and decided to bait his hook for a couple of those leaping trout. Wow. So look at that. After a full week of not watching TV, they realized there were so many activities around their house that they wanted to do. And then when it came time that they were allowed to watch TV, they thought it was a little boring and they wanted to do other things. So maybe we could go a day or two or maybe a whole week without any technology. No iPads, no TV. And you'll start noticing there's a lot of fun adventures with your family that you enjoy. Have a great day.